Yes, this morning I am making dog food. Cora has not been eating good, so I am trying to make some homemade dog food for her and see if that'll help. And that seemed to do the trick. Today is day four of her being with us and she's just not been eating. Not much. Alright, tell the friends what happened. There's a hawk. You saw a hawk? What did you do? Mom scared away and I ran to my mom and scared it away. And what happened when mommy scared it away? Um, mommy said, ah! Um, that <laughs> Mommy said not that either. I did say that. What did I say? Let me go outside. She run. <laughs> Get out. Is that what she said? Woo! Yeah. Thank that goodness for mommy. mommy. That's how mommy get away. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Did you see your kitties today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kitties are eating. So. Yeah, I see one eating. I don't know where the other ones are. There they, they are. The oh, are they over there? Kitties, kitties everywhere. Hello everybody. Today we are going to be making two recipes. Um, I'm kind of keeping it at two. It just seems like that's a, a long enough video and long enough for me in the kitchen. So today one of them is going to be from, let me see if I can see the date. Um, it is a punch bowl cake. I don't know if you guys have ever made that or not. This is from 1989 is this one. And uh, basically we're going to go on and start it now because it says you just take a um, yellow cake mix and you make that. Bake it, just following the directions, just bake up a cake. And then it's going to be a layer of cake. And then you're going to make up some pudding and put that in. And some cherry pie filling and some crushed pineapples and some um, bananas. It just sounds like it'll be really, really good. And then for dinner tonight, we're going to take from this 1950s cookbook. And we're going to make a chicken fricassees. And a fricassee, however you say it. Um, hold on, let me find that for you. Okay, so this is the one that we're gonna make tonight. And, and we are also going to make that with some baking soda biscuits, because that's what it says in it to serve it with. So basically it's gonna become this chicken and gravy is basically what I'm reading over top of biscuits. And then the dessert, like I said, is just gonna be this kind of trifle. I think it's gonna be a good day. So make sure you stick around so you can see how to make these. I'm gonna start with just making this yellow cake mix. All right, I wanna just kind of show you real quick this punch bowl cake. So we're gonna take one yellow cake mix and we're gonna bake it. Then we're gonna take two boxes of instant vanilla pudding and mix it according to the package. And then two cans of cherry pie filling, or you can use fresh strawberries and two cans of crushed pineapple drained, Let's see, five or six bananas sliced, a large container of Cool Whip, a few maraschino cherries, and some chopped nuts. That's gonna go on the top. So that's basically what it is, and we're gonna make just this layered, pretty trifle. Okay, so I am sitting here looking at my trifle bowl, which needs to be washed, because it's dusty, but I'm thinking there's no way that this is going to fit <laughs> in here and because we're making a dessert every night this month I think I'm just going to half this recipe I'm still gonna make the cake but instead of two boxes of jello do one and just half it so that it'll fit in this bowl you might think the weather's kind of cold but you know you've got a hand to hold come on Are 
so hard to resist and those red lips are longing for a kiss come along now and play what a wonderful day christmas is almost here let's toast to a very good year it's just you kind of date I'm all yours and I can hardly wait come along start the show having fun in the snow your white smile is brightened up my date your blonde hair out of a fairy tale come along start the show having fun in the snow What are you two doing? She just woke up from a oh, pumpkin. Did you just wake up? Oh, yep. They're going out for a walk, then I'd say. Yep. Go get dressed. Come on, girl. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she had to fall first. You need me to make more eggs? No, I only eat some. I am, I eat, I almost eat baby ones and not mommy ones. They are too hot. Oh, they're still too hot? Do you want me to blow it? Are you ready? This is the extent of her hyperness. <laughs> Well, throw, throw it gently over there. Go get And she falls all the time. Okay, now we're gonna go on and start this chicken. Um, it is about 10 till four, and I need to finish a punch bowl cake too, as you well know, except I don't wanna do it too soon because I don't want it to be all soggy. So we made the cake. I'll make the pudding here in a little bit, but I did wanna get this going. Now let me just show you, because what this says here, if you guys can see that, it says, to simmer some chicken. And it says to use a four to five pound ready to cook stewing chicken and cut it up. I'm not doing that. I've got some chicken breast sitting out here. I'm gonna use chicken breast. And then it also says to just add three cups of hot water, one onion, a few cloves put in with the onion, and three stalks of celery, a bay leaf, and one carrot. And it says to add all that together and put it in and stew that all together for two to two and a half hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my oven at 325 and I'm just going to bake it slowly in the oven. Um, I was going to <laughs> put this chicken actually in the crock pot and do it, except and it's too big of a package to fit in my microwave because I just have a tiny little microwave. So... <laughs> That's all right. So I'm going to just do it in the oven though and slow cook it because I think the chicken itself, it just would have a, ble a better flavor. I'm not big on just boiling or steaming chicken. I think it's way better baked or done in the crock pot. So that is up to you on how you want to do it if you want to remake this dish. <laughs> Let's start the chicken. Okay, it says take three cups of hot water, put it in with the chicken. Then to take some onion studded with a few cloves. Just 
So I'll probably just do like four. I guess five. This is to use a bay leaf. That's a better one. Three stalks of celery, and it says to leave the leaves. And one carrot chopped up, but I have just some baby carrots. Okay, and then we're just gonna, I'm going to bake this, or you could cook it over and simmer it until it's cooked on the stove for a couple hours, but I'm gonna bake it at 325 and let that happen for about an hour and a half. Okay, so it did not say to add salt or pepper or anything like that because then it says that we're gonna add that later. We're gonna add flour, cream or milk, salt, and it never even calls for pepper. So that's what we're gonna add later and make our like gravy, I'm assuming. Okay, now let's go on and make this dessert because it's only about an hour now before dinner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to make some just instant vanilla pudding and the recipe that I put down in the description will be the original recipe. I'm just doing half of it. And two cups of cold milk. Now we're gonna assemble. So we have some of the cake in the bottom and I'm gonna do half the pudding. Then I'm gonna do half a can of cherry pie filling. half a can of crushed pineapple drained and we're gonna slice a banana then I'm gonna do half the cool whip Then we are going to repeat with cake. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh oh la da 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 oh oh All right, so da, 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 I have an update out in the barn. I got the lights finished, so I guess I'll take you uh, take you over here and show you. So this was my area back here. Uh, we can see kind of the before. Yes, everything is cluttered, but it is very dark. 
very hard to see. Well, that's just kind of the way they had it. But I put in this new light switch over here. Which you can't hardly see. I'll try it this way. So, got myself in a new light switch, and voila, we have all kinds of light to be able to see what we're doing. I'm happy with it. Let's step back here. You can kind of see now all the clutter from where we moved and just threw everything but i'll be able to see what i'm doing get these shelves organized now get the rest of my tools put away and plenty of light for when i have the mechanic come over and work on the tractor or if i get uh, bold enough to do some work on it and that was one of the biggest issues just being able to see everything that was going on with it. Okay, now we're gonna get back to this chicken. Okay, so it says we're gonna strain this and use three cups of broth. Use water if you don't have enough broth. Okay, so we're gonna add three cups of this broth to the pan. Half a cup of heavy cream or milk, six tablespoons of flour, teaspoon of salt, and then we're going to stir this together. Then we're going to add this to our broth. our gravy. Oh, 
paste and add a little salt and pepper as needed. So I'm gonna do some pepper and I'm gonna do a little bit more salt. Then we pour this gravy over top of the chicken. video and we will see all of you guys tomorrow for day 11 of vintage meals or vintage recipes I thank you guys all so much for watching and if I don't see you because some of you are leaving already I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I can't wait until you're back bye everybody have a wonderful night wherever you are